guys, we finally made it to the beach, you know? Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've done an update. Uh, there's a lot of stuff been going on, you know. It just drives me nuts that all these people that I see go around thinking that they can close people in into their little box, you know what I'm saying? Just because uh, they feel that it is their right to condone people, to belittle them, because they feel that they are superior to the other person. However, this is one to the people out there that think that they are everything to the world. Let me tell you something. You are not the inventor of anything. You do not, by all means, have any right to close anybody in to make them feel any less than what they really are. When you have family members out here doing the same thing, holding grudges and shit over things of the past, and then they uh, show no effort of compassion when the person is hurting inside. They just want to push them and push them and push them until something happens like the person ends up moving away or something worse. There's a lot of people that, uh, that are in mental institutions now that dealt with this crap with their families, pushing them around and stuff. And they're like, oh, grow up. And I, you know what I say about that shit? I say, if you learn to get out of your fucking grudges and shit, the people will be able to live their lives accordingly because people do change. People change, but you have to give them the chance to show that they changed. Instead of holding grudges against the very person that you hold a grudge against. Same way with people out there judging everybody about their appearances and shit. Oh, he, he looks disgusting. He's a Z. Get away from him. Honestly, people. It's not about that. How would you feel if somebody belittled you because you didn't look hot enough or that you didn't have what the other person had? How would you feel in your own well-being if somebody pushed you around? How would you feel if somebody that you bully picked you up and slammed your ass on the ground so they can be the bully themselves to get you off the ass? How would you feel about that shit? Honestly, think about it. How would you feel if somebody actually stood up to you for once and, and said, I'm tired of your shit? Same way with Google. Yes, I will call you out. You want to know why? They disconnected my AdSense account. I don't care who gives shit or who laughs at this shit. I can care less. They deactivated me because of saying inactive clicking, which is bullshit. <clears throat> yes, I have a reason behind my speeches. Now to say that somebody's doing illegal activity and just disconnect them because they think that they're higher power. Let me tell you something. If it wasn't for us little people, if it wasn't for people that are that are here doing what we love and shit, you wouldn't exist. You wouldn't be here. You would not be existent to this world. If it wasn't for us to to Keep on going to your websites and shit. It wouldn't you wouldn't be as powerful as you are now. So remember, when you try to attack the little people, it will just come back on you, man. That's all I'm saying. Because when you attack the people that make you who you are, when you attack them, belittle them, and say, "Oh, they're doing this when they really aren't," just to say, "Oh, we got the power over you because we are." what made you it'll come back on you it always does yes I have a reason to be aggravated it comes in line with Tourette's it always does but I'm here to express my views if you don't like it 
get the fuck off of this shit. And my apologies go out to the real subscribers to this channel. I appreciate everything you do. Appreciate all the support and awareness you've been helping spread through this. Through all the others that are hating and just saying, oh, we, we can control you. That's all I say. Because I'm not going nowhere. I am right here. I am staying here. Regardless if you want to push me or shove me. You might not like what I look like. You might not like what I, what I say. You might, not look, you might not like the fact that I don't have tits. You know what I'm saying? Who gives a shit? Quit belittling people because they show the fucking cleavage and shit. It's bullshit, man. Stop saying show me your tits and shit. Why not? Show me your insides. Show me the truth in your heart. Show me that part of you instead of just saying, I want to see your breast. Honestly, think about it. When you actually listen to a person's heart, you actually know the person within. When you just say, I just want to look at the person because they show cleavage and because they show their manly bodies, if you will, it just belittles them and makes them makes their whole imagination blow up to where they think they're better than you. And then you never get the chance with them because you make them believe that they're better than everybody out there that looks less important than they do. It's not about looks, it's not about how you uh, dress. It's all about the heart. When you have a good heart, you're a good person. You can be a good person and be in jail over ignorant bullshit that happened that people just belittle you of. Within America there, there is no certain statement stating that everybody has a right to lock people up because they say it's right. There are people still today that are fucking locked up when they're innocent as fuck. There's a people named, there's a person named Hurricane Carter. Yes, yeah, true story. He lives in Canada now. Good man. They say that he killed those people and locked him up. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That's because he's black. <laughs> people push people around because of color durations. Bullshit. I got one last statement for you before I leave. Grow the fuck up. Get over yourselves. And have a nice pleasant fucking day. To all the rest of you people that are actually here to support this cause and to support me and my efforts, I appreciate you and I apologize for my rudeness. As always, thank you for subscribing. If you want to subscribe, click down here somewhere. It'll be right down here. So, if you want, uh, if you want any. I still doing this whole uh, video montage thing. If you could submit your video, information is in the past video that I did. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one and peace out.